If you use a heavy gimbal, you're probably gonna love what we're talking about in today's video. First off, it looks very professional. It's designed to reduce that up and down movement you get when you're using a gimbal. I can one finger control the entire rig. It comes on and off of this very easily because it's on a quick release plate. It's completely hands-free. No hands. But also, this is not a light setup and I'm not feeling it on this whatsoever. This is an incredibly comfortable vest to wear when you're using a setup like this. So at its core, the vest supporting this rig is called the Digital Photo, yes, photo with an F, okay. Thanos SE. This vest is designed as a support system for heavy gimbal setups, heavy rigs, that you're gonna be wearing for an extended period of time. And we've tested this in quite a few different situations for long periods. They've done a really good job at distributing the weight so it doesn't feel like it's putting pressure or pain anywhere really at all. And I know what you're thinking, can you balance something else on here other than the camera? Oh, it does, look at that. It works better than I thought it would. This is a very budget version of something like the Easy Rig, which can easily set you back a few thousand dollars. This is somewhere in the ballpark of $600. Now, if you want something even cheaper, check out a video I did up here. Pretty interesting way of doing it, and it works really well. So this whole vest is adjustable. You can tie it at the back on the shoulders, and you can even adjust the height of everything just here by locking that and sliding it up and down. It's actually pretty quick to attach to this system as well. Just literally can do it in real time for your seat, and that's it. It's now on there. Now, that is not how they show you to do it in the comprehensive manual. Now what they actually recommend doing is loosening off this knob just here and feeding the handle of the gimbal directly through there, which looks straightforward enough, but the Ronin handle is quite large and although it fits in there, you kind of have to wedge it. And doing it on your own is not easy. So I looked here and was like, nah, there's a better way to do that. In the box, they actually give you this little base plate there and that slides directly into there nice and easily. And then you just attach whatever base plate you want on the top there. It just literally screws in via the quarter inch 20 thread. Then I can just take off that. I'm actually using these quick release plates from Zion or Zune, and they don't make them anymore, but Manfrotto makes something very similar. Essentially, I just pull this down here and then the gimbal clips in there like that. And now I'm in, set up. Easy like that. Now make no mistake, this is a big setup. It is really not car friendly if you're already wearing this and you want to get into a car. One hour later. It did work really well for one of those shots where I was sat in the trunk looking backwards as the car was moving forwards. Could get a really smooth shot. I can hold on for dear life while one hand controlling gimbal. Now because this is so big, there's a time and a place really where you're gonna be wearing it. I can't see myself turning up to a wedding. I mean, you do what you wanna do, but I think if I was to use this at a wedding, you definitely get some looks. Who the f is that guy? Speaking of weddings, weddings are a great way that you can start making money with your camera, shooting wedding videos for people. And I actually have a class on Skillshare literally talking about how to shoot weddings. You can take that class for free because Skillshare is the sponsor of today's video. If you head on down to the description box and click the link there or use the code Chris Brockhurst, you will get your first month of Skillshare completely free. Now, as well as my class, there are thousands, literally thousands upon thousands of classes that you can go on and take at your own convenience, whenever you're ready. It's all on demand, it's all video. There's actually three classes specifically on just how to use gimbals properly. Greg's class right here, 1167 people have taken that. It's over two hours long just on how to use gimbals properly. So if you need to perfect that ninja walk, Greg's gonna be able to show you how to do it properly. I am very passionate about Skillshare. Being able to continue to grow and learn as a person sets you apart from other people. Having more skills and knowledge just makes you stand out a little bit more. There's people out there that like to stay stagnant and just happy being where they are. Good for them. I like to continue to learn. I would encourage you to do the same and Skillshare is a great place to do that. As I said earlier, the first 1,000 people that click that link down below in the description or use the code on the screen, which is Chris Brockhurst, will get their first month of Skillshare for free. And then you can go and take whatever classes you want, anything I've talked about today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So this thing is ridiculous looking, it's huge, but we can't ignore the fact that it does make handling a gimbal, even with one finger, very, very easy. And I know you're not gonna be one fingering the gimbal the entire time. That's what she said! But you could, if you wanted to. It's just to show you how much easier this does make handling this heavy setup. Now me and some mates got together and did some pretty intensive tests with that on this. And that is a heavy setup. And it handled it completely fine. <laughs>
Balancing this is key. Right now it is balanced very well. You'll know if it's not balanced because it's not gonna stay put. To balance it, it's a case of adjusting the knobs right here. So you want it angled down slightly there and kind of straight like that. This is balanced very well. You also have a vertical and a horizontal adjustment for balance here. So if it's moving one way to the right or the left, you can adjust that too. So the manual claims a 20 to 30% reduction in your vertical up and down movement. But a big thing to note here and with any movement you're doing on a gimbal, the manual very clearly states, ninja footage is always needed during moving shooting. That's, that's actually what it says. What is the ninja walk? You use your knees as a suspension, you bend your knees and you, you look like an idiot as you're walking. So let's look at some tests using this. You could also vlog with this if you wanted to. It would be the world's most ridiculous, expensive, over the top vlogging setup. So if you wanted to vlog, this is how it would look. Kind of disgusted how well it works. Not to mention the fact that you can go completely hands-free. Goes a bit wonky on you, but I mean, hands-free vlogging. This way? Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work that well, but you get the idea. It's kind of important to see how quickly this can go on and off as well. So from not on to on, how long does it take? And of course, I'm filming outside. So there's a plane, always, in summer always happens so you got one buckle at the back there one on each side and essentially that is the vest on it's obviously fit for me already because i'm the one using it right now my gimbal is off and uh, attached to the legs here so kind of remove that from the time but we're gonna take the legs off and now we're going to attach it to this and that's it we're done as quick as that to from not having it on to having it on. You don't actually have to have a gimbal on this. You could just attach your camera directly to this and use it kind of like how you'd use an easy rig. So it's basically handheld, but you're getting much more stable handheld video. Some issues with this, it's not gonna be good for low angle stuff. Now you can mount this upside down. The manual says it, a lot of other people have talked about it and reviewed it that way. But to be honest with you, I would say it's probably easier just to use the gimbal without this setup for those low angle shots instead of having to mount this upside down. I actually did a shot recently when we went for a walk uh, of my son Noah, and I had my RSC2 in underslung briefcase mode, and the shot came out so smooth, and I wasn't using a vest or anything like that, and I, I posted on Instagram, and people just asked, how did you get that so smooth? And it was just handheld, underslung mode. For whatever reason, I find that gimbals work better when you have them upside down in briefcase mode. It just seems to look smoother. Also, if you want tilt control, you, you can't there is no tilt control. Now you have tilt on here, this little knob right here will control your tilt, but it's geared so that there's teeth in there. So when you loosen it, it's every little movement that like locks in. So you can't really get a smooth tilt. You'd have to use, or you have to assign the dial here to tilt the camera or use the joystick. Those are the only methods that you would be able to tilt with this. It's fixed looking forwards. If you need to get a higher or lower shot, you have to be the person that goes higher or lower. To, to get that angle. And I know you're probably wondering about the rest of the setup I've got going on on this gimbal. So let's quickly chat about that. Now, most of this is what I already discussed in my video from up here. Video NTG on the top here wasn't discussed in that. That's just if you wanted to have a mic on top there. Still the Anton Bauer battery. I'm actually using a Condor Blue dummy battery for this this week. Uh, this is a Porky's P6 monitor and a little small rig clamp here to attach it to the handle, which again was talked about in the video up here. And then this handle is actually the one that comes with the Ronin RS2 and uh, this part of the handle like this is the bit that comes with the gimbal But this I don't even know where I got that from anything will work even the legs that come with it Still using the small rig handle on the one side there and uh, nice little thing I've realized these little thingies here, which you probably won't be able to see in the angle. It's too far away They actually work really well for cable management. So who would have thought so that is this ridiculous setup that actually works pretty well for supporting weight it's all right for up and down movement, but mostly for supporting a good amount of weight throughout the day. If you are interested in anything I've talked about today, there will be links down below. Thank you to Digital Photo for sending this setup through. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.